kind of our office. This, like I said, we started off with the base model. Um, I've, you know, I've tinkered with it. And then as you saw, my boss like slapped some stickers on there, a bit of fun with it. Um, we added our logo in the conference room. Obviously our hope is to kind of like expand on this. Like when I redesign it, I want to add like a garden area and everything. But for right now, like with the way that it's set up, essentially there's also a Christmas tree over there. Again, my boss having a bit of fun. She like goes and stands over there to let us know that she's going to be walking her dog. So she's like, if you see my avatar by the Christmas tree, I'm walking my dog. So I, I can't remove that. <laughs> she would be okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I wouldn't want her dog to get fewer walks <laughs> exactly but so we have these three main tables um typically like whoever comes in first in the morning they everybody kind of has their own station that they like so um we're a seven member team right now and so typically what happens is one person each will go to each of the different sections. We have one person who really enjoys the kitchen because he doesn't like to be bothered. So he sits down in the kitchen most of the day. Um, we have another team member who sits up there in the upper right hand corner in the sofas. And then we do one each at the tables. Sometimes we'll double up if we have like a, a meeting right away in the morning. Um, and then we also really like to take advantage of that, that two person table that's at the top. And I like that once it's full, it locks and no one else can walk up. Um, so we use that quite a bit as well. Um, and we've been using the conference room. Sure. So we completely stopped using Google meet. Um, and we've pretty much stopped using phone calls as well. Like if we need something from someone, we go up to them in Cosmos. Um, and is that for inter for internal internal or external meets as well yeah internal so we floated the idea of moving this to external as well um we have a couple of clients that we feel like would be receptive to having meetings first of all i want to get the office designed first i want it to look a little bit more us but second of all our concern was we have a couple of clients who are a bit um eccentric and we don't want them to be like oh this is fun i'm gonna stay all day so is there a way to like kick people out once they come in? Is like, if I didn't want you in here right now, could I just kick you out? Or as long as you have the link, you have access to our office. Um, as long as you've got the link, you'd have access. Um, you can, so this is a thing that we um, hopefully will be building soon, which mm -hmm. are like uh, specific meeting links to a particular room, uh, which yeah. you are then much better for giving out to external meetings and then are scoped to just uh, that room. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the only concern that we have, right? Like we don't want to invite someone and then they either like a overstay their welcome. And like, at that point, what are we supposed to do? You know what I mean? Until they get bored, like they're allowed to just kind of hang around or like all of a sudden randomly on like noon on a Tuesday, we have a client like just bopping into our office and we're like, Whoa, you know what I mean? Um, so that's the only reason why we haven't pushed it to external meetings yet. Cool. That makes sense. Um, so uh, when did you start using Cosmos? Um, we started right around the first of the year. So basically what happened was we were in the process of onboarding two new team members who were um, our entire team has been fully remote since the onset of the pandemic. But we also did remote at least two days a week, even before. Um, so we're no stranger to remote. But what we were stranger to is having to fully onboard somebody remotely. So um, they both live in like different areas of the states. So um, it wasn't possible for us. And we wanted to have a really engaging onboarding and set them up for success in the best way possible. And we saw that we struggled with that over the course of the, the pandemic and the full remote, that it was really hard to get people engaged with the team. Um, when we weren't available to them the way that we would be in a traditional office. So I was just kind of poking around, looking at different softwares that we could use. Um, I My initial thought was like, okay, I guess I'm just going to stay on a Google Meet eight hours a day. And just if they need something, they can unmute. Um, and I eventually actually happened upon a LinkedIn <laughs> post that had mentioned Cosmos. Um, so I clicked it, I kind of opened it and I'm not going to lie to you, me and my entire team were like giddy. It was, it was insane. The first day that we were using it, like I got it set up and I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. And so like, I just kept telling my, my teammates, I was like, 
okay, you have to come to this link. Like, don't ask me questions. Just come to the link and I'll see you there. And everyone was kind of like, okay, like, what is she doing this time? And as people came in, like, they were getting really giddy about it too. And so like, we were all just like really, really excited and passionate about it from like, are just like little internal like test of it. Um, and so then when it came to onboarding, we've gotten the feedback from the two team members that we that we did bring on that they've really enjoyed having that level of access to us where you can kind of just walk up, say something, and it's like you're at a desk. Um, and our boss has actually taken it to the owner of the company. She's taken it to the next level and she leaves herself unavailable all day long. Um, she's like, if I was in an office, I would technically be available all day long. So why don't I do that here? Most of us stay on listening. Um, but yeah, so everybody's kind of really leaned into it. That's really cool to hear. So um, you originally t uh, took on Cosmos to solve an onboarding problem you have. Um, mm -hmm. Would you say that Cosmos helped you solve other problems that you kind of discovered along the way when you tried us out? Like, why did you continue using us post, post that onboarding stage? So I think so. I think that it just allowed us all to have a little bit more access to each other, but without it being invasive. So we did have one of our team members that was a little bit um, hesitant about Cosmos because he was concerned that it was going to be invasive, that it was going to be, um, you know, bothersome during the day because he was somebody who hadn't ever come to the office with us. Um, but the level of flexibility that you have with either being available, listening or away really allows like everybody to kind of go to their own level of comfort and there's enough space in here that you can spread out so you're not constantly bumping into each other um i i do think that like i would redo the layout a little bit in our next one but that's besides the point um but it's made communication internally a lot easier it's a lot easier to just kind of like walk over to somebody else's table and put yourself on available then and then be able to broadcast and say hey like can you join us at table three like we're chatting about this then having to like pick up the phone and be like okay well i'm going to conference paula and then it's like easier to gauge reactions because you have cameras on um and it just it feels as close to an in-person office environment as we felt in the last two years that's pretty cool to hear yeah. um um so i guess from this um you've kind of summarized like how your team feels about using cosmos do you have like and you've got a pretty strong like emotional response to this is a product, which is really <laughs> nice to hear it's, what yeah. <laughs> it's fun right because you have that level of like interactivity with your space that you would have in a traditional office where you get to decorate it like you kind of get to play around with like like your desk so initially it started where we were like I was like desk two is my desk and so I decorated it how I wanted it to be decorated now we kind of have a little bit more freedom of movement we bop around a lot more um but and it's also just kind of so cool to kind of see what everybody's up to too you know what I mean like you can look and be like oh they're talking right now he's walking here and like it, it just allows you to feel again, like as close as you can feel to being in person without be actually being in person. And I also like you guys recently added the little chat bubble so you can actually see who's talking at certain times. And that's cool too. Uh, yeah, no, that was intentional. We wanted to, we found ourselves having the same problem where you'd be kind of like, people are sitting around in a desk, are they just kind of co-working together or are they actually talking? And so... And it just makes the map feel just a little more lively. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, so how would you describe Cosmos to like someone who has no idea about what the product is? That's a really good question. I, I when the, the honest answer, the not put together answer is I'm always like, it is a very, very cool virtual office tool. But I feel like the actual way to describe it would be more so saying that it's kind of like, like somewhere in the middle of an in-person office experience and an online tool for collaboration. So you have that, that perfect marriage of what you get from a video conferencing tool and from working at home 
which is at least still a little bit of privacy and a little bit of flexibility married with the accessibility that you have in an office to each other. Yeah, it's pretty close to what we do for it as well. Um, <laughs> so could you talk a little bit about your like daily workflow in Cosmos? Does everyone come in at the same time to a particular meeting? Or, <laughs> like... So I was going to say, I have a feeling that shortly you're going to start seeing people flood in because it's almost 9 a.m. here. Um, so it, yeah, I mean, at 9 a.m., every much everybody pretty much like walks into the office um, finds their seat, figures out where they're going for the day. Typically we touch base in the mornings. Um, so you'll see, you know, people kind of like gathering at different tables. Sometimes they'll go into conference rooms. Um, and then from there, um, during the day, like things just kind of disperse, right? Like if these people need to meet, they meet, if they don't, they don't. Um, a lot of times during lunch, people will take lunch breaks. So you'll see them go on away. And then around five o'clock or depending on when people are wrapping up their day, then they just exit Cosmos. So we use it really like a real office. It's like you, you come in at nine, you leave at five. Cool. Um, and I guess from that, do you still have an office uh, in the physical world or? So we don't have like a dedicated office space, but we do have a co-working space here in South Florida. Um, as I mentioned, not all of our team members like are accessible to that office. Um, but we try to go about once a week to that in-person office. And those of us that go in person still log into Cosmos. So yeah, so even while we're in the in-person office, we have Cosmos up and running. If, if we're, usually it's two to three of us that go in person. Um, we'll sit at different tables so that you don't get into like a feedback situation. Um, but, and, and most of the time too, right? So like if someone comes over to talk to me, then, and they need to talk to my colleague, my colleague will just scoot over um, instead of necessarily, maybe we should go out of we the- should, Should we grab um, one of the meeting rooms? Yeah, we can go to conference room A. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so, so they'll scoot over instead of kind of bringing their avatar order over just to avoid like a feedback situation. Um, but we still very much so use Cosmos when we're in the, the physical office. It's interesting here. Um, and actually it's one of those things where I, there's probably a whole bunch of features we should build out around that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like as people return to the office and maybe some are in the office and some aren't like having, having the availability for people who are in the office to be in like either a specific area or a way for that feedback to not happen. Um, and I guess finally, because I appreciate that it is the start of your day here as well. And <laughs> I was going to say, this is, it's actually perfect though, right? Because you're getting to see yeah. exactly what we talked about. Um, so is there any like negatives or problems that you have, you've been having with Cosmos? Um, I'm not sure. Actually, I have my colleague here. Do you think that there's any negatives with Cosmos so far? Mm. I mean, sometimes it feels like people have a bit too much access. Like we're, we get a little bit self-conscious sometimes if we're just on chatting, mm. so we, we'll, we'll yeah. be a little bit like, oh, I wonder if they're going to be thinking that we're just like not working. You know what I mean? <laughs> Instead of like when you're just on the phone and you start like off chatting, it's like mm. nobody knows. Um, Technicality-wise, I wouldn't really say like, yeah. I have any problems with the accessing anything or no. No, I don't think so. I, I mean, like you saw when I was just like trying to redecorate there a little bit and remove those stickers, like you kind of rock it wherever you go to X out the stickers. So that's like a bit, but I would love to have a little bit more flexibility too. I told this to the, to the other team. I was like, I'd love to have a little bit more flexibility in designing the office on my own, on my end. But that's also because like we work with like, graphic design tools. So I feel like we understand it. The average person probably wouldn't care about that. But I don't think, I think that everything else like yeah. technical wise, like works pretty smoothly. I agree. Yeah. Cool. That's really great to hear. Yeah. Um, well, I think that's the list of questions that I would like to ask you. Uh, just okay. to say uh, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, go through the first, with the of course. <laughs> no worries. And thank you so much for your patience again. So sorry for showing up so late. Not a problem. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day. Have a good one. Bye.